Are you unhappy? Have you been unhappy? And maybe you're beginning to notice many of your friends, coworkers, and family have been too. You're not just seeing things. You're probably right. Unhappiness is on the rise, with research results showing that Americans are currently more unhappy than they have ever been in a decade. With many social, political, financial, and health problems multiplying by the second, people have been struggling to find meaning in their daily activities. Does this mean everything is doomed for destruction beyond repair? Not necessarily. There are many things outside of our control, but the things that are manageable have room for growth. Here are 10 unhealthy behaviors to get rid of. 1. You're eating when you're bored, not hungry. Do you eat when you're stressed or bored? We know it's tempting to reach for a chocolate bar when you're having a bad day, or sharing a big bucket of popcorn at the movies with friends, because it's always been a tradition. But eating in large increments when you're not actually hungry can cause you to gain weight, break out, and make you feel more sluggish than productive. Before eating, ask yourself how you're feeling and keep a log to figure out what's causing your munchies. Another helpful tip is to drink some water and wait half an hour. Sometimes you might not actually be hungry, but dehydrated. Two, ruminating. If you have depression or anxiety, it might be hard to realize you're even having negative thoughts when they're super common. If you often worry about the future and dwell on the past to the point of paralysis, you'll only end up digging yourself deeper in a hole. Psychologists have recommended finding healthy distractions, such as reading a good book or spending time with loved ones. Once your mind is in a positive place, you'll be more open to problem solving. Another strategy is to schedule a half hour window for ruminating. That way, you're not resisting the urge, but simply blowing off the steam in healthy increments instead of allowing it to control your whole day. Three, hardcore potatoing. After a long week, it's normal to want to stay in to recharge. But if you find yourself binge-watching shows on the couch all the time, instead of going out for fresh air and exercise, this can increase the risk of memory loss and puts you at a higher risk for developing diabetes because you're more likely to consume sugary snacks and drinks. We're not telling you to cut cold turkey on your favorite show, but channel your energy to healthier options, such as consuming only two hours of TV on a daily basis and exercising during commercials. 4. Avoiding responsibilities who else is afraid of adulting? I know I still am. But that shouldn't be an excuse to stay in your comfort zone. Paying bills, budgeting, even cooking, these are unknown areas that might seem foreign to you at the moment, but it won't always be that way. Break free from codependency if you feel like you rely on your parents for everything and start doing research. We are grateful to live in an era where YouTube exists. Find some easy, healthy recipes to start with and life hacks on saving money. You'll make mistakes along the way, so use them as learning opportunities. 5. Complaining instead of taking action. Do you often compare your life to others and wonder why the grass always seems greener on the other side? It's tempting to point fingers, play the victim, and believe that the world is out to get you, but it's not. Recognize that your choices have consequences, bad or good. Overnight success is a myth, so get ready to pace yourself. Use a calendar and planner to create daily to-do lists. This will help you track your progress and achievements. Six, saying yes all the time. If you're a people pleaser, this will be painfully relevant. But the good news is that saying no does not make you a lesser or worse of a person. It means you respect yourself, your health, and your boundaries. The truth is, when you die, no one is going to remember how hard you worked or how you made them feel. Use your time wisely, say no to soul-sucking tasks that won't benefit you, and do things that fulfill you instead. 7. Tolerating toxic behaviors. The thing about toxic people is that they're not always cold and ruthless. If that were the case, abusive relationships wouldn't be an ongoing issue. But it is, and we know that it's not always easy to walk away, especially if these people are your parents. But you should never tolerate toxic behavior on any level. If you must, report it to the police. They can get you to a place of safety. Change is scary, but so is staying in that dark place when you deserve so much more. 8. Being glued to your phone 24-7 Do you go on your phone during meals, shortly after you wake up, or right before you fall asleep? One study showed that when people gave up Facebook for a week, they found that they felt happier and less lonely. It's easy to compare our lives to others, but what we see on social media are often only people's best moments, not the whole story. 
We're not telling you to give up on social media or your smartphones, but when things get out of hand, you know you have to start cutting back time somewhere. Moderation is key. 9. Not telling your doctor the truth. Doctors can't fix everything, but they can help us with our health tremendously. That is, if we're actually going to be truthful. It's so easy to say you're doing fine during annual checkups when you're really not. Remember, they aren't mind readers. So if you've been feeling fatigued, your stomach's been hurting, or your bowel movements haven't been the greatest, there's no shame in letting them know what's happening. 10. Not telling yourself the truth. If you're stuck at a dead-end job you're not happy with, or your partner isn't who you see yourself with long-term, guess what? The only person holding yourself back from a better future is yourself. Days will sometimes seem uncertain, and yes, you might be disappointed in your next job or relationship. But until you give something else a chance, your world will only feel smaller and more limited. What bad habits would you like to detach from? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to also subscribe for more helpful content and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching!